Let's pretend we're given two random points in a graph, x1, y1, and x2, y2. We can find the distance between these two points, and we're going to call this d. We can find the distance between these two points as x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and all of this is square rooted and you're not given this in the formula booklet so you will actually need to remember um, this formula and like the gradient uh, formula you can sw swap the ones and the twos uh, around um, and you'll still get the uh, the same answer out it's um so it's not um, too important and the reason this equation actually exists is actually to do with uh, Pythagoras um, but you don't really need to know about this but that's kind of why it looks like this with the squares and the square roots so let's uh, take an example let's say that we're given two Two points minus one six and seven minus two to find the distance between these two lines it will be the square root of let's just say that this is the second point so the two it will be a uh, seven minus minus one squared plus minus two minus 6 squared and all of this is going to be square rooted and if you put this into a calculator you will find that the answer is equal to 8 root 2 and this is the distance between the two lines and once again you could swap the coordinates uh, around so you could do minus 1 minus 7 squared plus 6 uh, minus minus 2 squared and you'll get the uh, same value out. Let's just do another quick example let's say that we have a uh, minus 5, 11 and minus 2, 7. If we want to find the distance between these two points, it's going to be minus 2 minus minus 5 squared plus 7 minus 11 squared all of this is going to be square rooted and if we put this into a calculator we're going to get 5 out as the answer. So a very common exam question uh, they could ask you is to find the area of an enclosed shape. So I've only ever seen them asked to find areas of triangles and therefore in order to find an area of a triangle you need to use the formula A is equal to half BH. Hopefully you're familiar with this, this is just uh, the formula for the area of a triangle where B is equal to the length of the base and h is equal to the length of the height of the triangle. So if we just draw a triangle quickly like this let's say the length of the base is going to be this side here and the height is going to be the height of the triangle which is going to be like this. So most of the time, one of the sides will be in axes, which makes it a lot easier. So what you need to do is you need to find the point of intersections and the points where the line crosses the axes in terms of where the triangle is, in terms of the sides and the um, points. And then you must, if it's not given to you in the question, you need to draw a diagram. So therefore you can kind of understand what's going on and what area you like actually um, need to find. And then in order to find the area, in order to find the length of uh, the base and the height, um, you'll usually have to use just some basic spatial recognition, um, which I'll show in a sec. So this is a very common exam question that they could ask you, where they give you two lines that come together and intersect at a point called C, and one of the lines intersects the y-axis at point A, and the other one intersects the y-axis at point B, and they want you to find the area of the triangle ABC. So the first thing that I would do in this question is I would first of all find the actual points that they are talking about. So I'm going to start with uh, C. So in order to find C, um, you can do it by elimination if you want to. I'm going to do. Uh, you can do it by substitution if you want to. Sorry, I'm going to do it by elimination. So the way I would do this is make one of the coefficients uh, the same. I'm going to do the x coefficients. I'm going to times this by three. I'm going to times this one by two in order to make both of the uh, x coefficients six. So it's going to become six x minus three y plus twelve is equal to zero, and this one's going to become six x plus four y minus 32 is equal to 0. Therefore you can minus these from each other. I'm going to minus the uh, bottom one. The 6x will cancel out and it's going to become minus 7y plus 44 
is equal to 0. So it's going to be minus 7y is equal to minus 44. So it's going to become y is equal to 44 over 7. So that's the y coordinate of c. And therefore, you can find the x coordinate by just subbing into one of the equations. I'm just going to use this one up here. It's going to be 2x minus 44 over 7 plus 4, which is equal to 2x minus 16 over 7, which is equal to 0. So it's going to be 2x is equal to 16 over 7. So x is going to be equal to 8 over 7. So therefore, we can find the coordinate of c as 8 over 7, 44 over 7. So I just had to clear some space, otherwise I wouldn't be able to fit this all into one bit. So now we need to find the uh, A and B. So let's start with A, and it is the point where L1, which has this equation, crosses the y-axis. So when it crosses the y-axis, x is going to be 0. So it's going to be minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. So y is going to be 4. So then the coordinate of A is going to be 0, 4. And then to find B, we need to find the uh, point where this equation crosses the y axis. So it's going to be 2y minus 16 is equal to 0. So 2y is equal to 16 and y is equal to 8. So B is going to be equal to 0, 8. So sometimes the question will be nice and it will actually give you an axis and the points and therefore you won't need to draw it. Um, but as it doesn't here, um, I would draw... Um, uh, a quick diagram in order to understand what's going on. So this point down here is going to be A, which is equal to 0, 4. And this point up here is going to be B, which is equal to 0, 8. And then this point here is 8 over 7, 44 over 7. And if you put a 44 over 7 into a calculator, you'll find it's equal to 6.29. So we'll say that C is going to be in between these uh, two uh, points. So we'll say that C is somewhere about here, where C is equal to 8 over 7, 44 over 7. Now it says it wants us to find the area of the triangle ABC. If you're not familiar with what it means by this, it just means that we connect the points ABC. So it wants us to find the area of the triangle ABC, and then it, we connect uh, this point as well. So we need to find the area of this triangle here. So we need to use a formula A is equal to half of BH. So how do we find B? Well, the base, if you think about it, is going to be this line uh, here. And how do we find the length of this? Well, because we know these two points, we can actually quickly find the base because we know that this is 8 and this is 4. So we can do a quick subtraction in order to find this uh, section of the line here. It's going to be 8 minus 4. So B is going to be equal to 4. And then we need to find the height. Now, the height is going to be this point here. This line here is going to be the height. You might need to flip the triangle around in order to see why that is. And in order to find this, well, this we can use spatial recognition as well, because we know that this point here is equal to 0 on the x-axis, and this point here is equal to 8 over 7 on uh, the x-axis. So therefore, we can find this uh, height here as just being 8 over 7, as it's just going to be this section, the x-axis, and we know that this is 8 over 7, and this obviously is 0, so therefore the, um, the height is just going to be uh, 8 over 7. And therefore, we can find the area being half times 4 times 8 over 7 which is going to be equal to 16 over 7, if you put that into a calculator. So that is the answer to uh, the area of triangle ABC. A is equal to 16 over 7. Just some quick notes on the triangle questions. So I have seen questions before where instead of one of the sides um, is being on the axes, one of the sides of the triangle is a right angle instead. 
Now this makes the uh, problem uh, a lot easier as well because what we can do here is that the base is just going to be this here again this is going to be the base and the height is just going to be the length of this line here and therefore you can easily uh, find the area and therefore you find um, the points uh, you find the uh, length of uh, B and H by using the points and by using the formula that we went through earlier to find D. You find the distance between the points, so this point here and this point here for example, and then when you find the distance between these two points, this is going to be equal to the height, and to find the uh, uh, the length of the base, you find the distance between these two points, and that's going to um, give you the base as well. Now I've only ever seen one question where it is not in the style of either it being a right angle or one of the sides being on the axis, and that is uh, question 17 in the chapter 5 mix exercise. Um, what that does quite well though is it goes through the question slowly and in parts to the point where if you properly draw a diagram you will be able to understand what the height and what the base is though. Um, I think this is quite an unlikely question for them to ask though. I would say if they're going to ask a question on finding the area of a triangle um, it is going to either be one of the sides being a right angle or one of the angles being a right angle or one of the sides um, being uh, an axis. But remember the most important thing to do is if it's not given to you is to to draw a diagram as that will be the key for you to understand what the base and what the height is and also figuring out what the length of it is. So here's a question on length and area so pause the video have a go and I'll go for the answer in about five seconds. Okay, so for part A, we need to find an equation for L2, and it tells us that L2 is perpendicular to L1. So therefore, we know that the gradient of L2 is going to be the negative reciprocal of um, L1. And we can find the gradient of L1 because we're given the equation. So if we put the equation in the form y equals mx plus c, so let's do that. So let's, do, let's move the 2x onto the other side. Let's do 3y is equal to 26 six minus two x and then we divide everything by three to get y is equal to minus two over three x plus twenty six over three. We know that the gradient of line one therefore or L one is equal to minus two over three. So therefore we know that the gradient for L two is equal to three over Two. So therefore we have the gradient of uh, L2, now we need to know a point, and it says it passes through the origin, you can kind of see that on the diagram um, as well. So therefore we know that a point on uh, L2 is 0, 0. So therefore what we can do, we can apply the uh, formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 and we can do y minus y1 which will be 0 so it's just going to be y is equal to 3 over 2 x but uh, there's uh, minus x1 but x1 is also 0 so it's just going to be 3 over 2 x which we can just write as 3 over 2 x so what we can actually say is that y is equal to 3 over 2 X. And this is actually the equation of the line. We don't actually need to write it uh, in the form ax plus b, y plus c is equal to zero because there is no part of the question that actually says that we need to do that. We just need to find an equation for L2. So we can leave it at this form. is completely fine. You can put it in the ax plus b, y plus c equals zero form if you want by just bringing the y to the other side to make 3 over 2x minus y is equal to zero. So for part B, we need to find the area of the triangle OBC. Now, really nicely of the uh, question, it already gives us the, um, the uh, diagram, so we don't need to sketch it ourselves. So we need to find the area of the triangle OBC. So the way we do this is we need to find the points around OBC. We know O already, that's the origin, it's equal to uh, 0, 0. So let's, we need to find B and C. So let's start with uh, C, and it says that the line L2 intersects the line L1 at point C. So we need to solve the simultaneous equations, y equals 3 over 2x, and we need to solve it with this uh, equation as well. Now we can very easily do this by substitution because this already has y as the subject. So we can just sub this into this uh, equation um, here. So we can do 
2x plus 3y, which is equal to uh, 3 over 2x, so it will be equal to 9 over 2x, which we can simplify to 13 over 2x is equal to 26, and then x is equal to 26 divided by 13 over 2, which you put into a calculator, is equal to 4. And then we can sub this into uh, the equation here to get y, and we get that y is equal to 3 over 2 times 4, which is equal to 6. So therefore, c is equal to 4, 6. Now let's find uh, the point B, and we can see it on the diagram, I can see it in the question as well, it says the line L1 crosses the y-axis at the point B. So we know that this is going to be the point where this equation x is equal to 0, because that's when it uh, crosses the y-axis. So when x is equal to 0, it's going to be 3y is equal to 26, so therefore y is equal to 26 over 3. So therefore the point B is equal to 0, 26 over 3. So now we've got all the points, so what do we do from here? Well, first of all, let's just uh, annotate the graph. So this point here is, uh, we're just going to put 26 over 3, because remember it's the y-intercept and x is equal to 0. And c here is 4, 6. So we need to remember uh, the formula, a is equal to half b h. So the base is going to be this line here. So how do we find the length of this line? Well, we know that the y coordinate here is 0, and we know that the y coordinate here is 26 over 3. So therefore, we can find the length of this line, and therefore the length of the base is just going to be equal to 26 over 3. Now we need to find the height, and the height is going to be this line here here, and we can figure this out as well uh, using spatial recognition as well, is kind of this here is 0, and we know this here is the x coordinate 4, so therefore we can figure out the height here as being h is equal to 4. And this is quite a useful skill to have, and this is why making at the axis one of the uh, the sizes very um, useful, is if you, you need to just understand spatial recognition, understand the x and the y axes to understand what the uh, length of the, the base and the height is. And therefore, we can find the area of uh, the triangle as half times 26 over 3 times 4, which if you put that into a calculator, it's equal to 52 over 3.